A thesis-led essay is one type of argumentative or opinion essays. It's an essay which gives advantages and disadvantages about something. This form of essay is thesis-based, that is, it focuses on one topic and presents two opposing points of view about that topic. It's sometimes called a for and against essay. A good thesis-led essay should consist of an introductory paragraph in which you state the topic. This means the hook, background statement and thesis statement are included, usually without directly giving your opinion. A thesis-led essay should also consist of a main body, in which body paragraph 1 usually includes points for the topic and body paragraph 2 usually includes points against the topic or a main body in which body paragraphs 1 and 2 usually include points for the topic and body paragraphs 3 and 4 usually include points against the topic. A thesis-led essay should also consist of a concluding paragraph in which you give either your opinion or a balanced consideration of the topic. When writing a thesis-led essay, remember to consider the following. List points for and against the topic before writing. Write well-developed paragraphs with points presented and supported with justification. That's to say, reasons or examples. And do not use informal style. Let's study this essay that discusses two opposing opinions about two different ways to reduce crime. The introductory paragraph includes a hook that attracts the reader's attention, a background statement that the reader needs to understand the topic of the essay, and in a thesis-led essay, a thesis statement that gives the main idea of the essay but does not state the writer opinion directly. The main body of a thesis-led essay usually starts with a body paragraph. Body paragraph 1 focuses on the argument for reducing prison sentences. It starts with a topic sentence, followed by supporting sentences supporting the topic sentence. The paragraph might or might not end with a concluding sentence. The main body of a thesis-led essay also contains body paragraph 2, which focuses here on the argument against reducing prison sentences. It starts with a topic sentence, followed by supporting sentences supporting the topic sentence. Again, the paragraph might end with a concluding sentence. A thesis-led essay usually ends with a concluding paragraph. The concluding paragraph summarizes the main idea of the essay which was mentioned in the thesis statement. In this thesis-led essay, the writer usually starts the concluding sentence by restating the thesis statement. The writer then needs to give either their opinion or a balanced consideration of the topic. 
The concluding paragraph usually ends with either a suggestion, opinion, or prediction. Now let's read the essay again. Notice how it uses linking devices or discourse markers to sequence information logically and maintain cohesion between sentences. A number of linking or cohesive devices are used. These cohesive devices are used to contrast an argument. This cohesive device is used to introduce a conclusion. These cohesive devices are used to link causes and effects. These cohesive devices are used to present an example. These cohesive devices are used to present reason. These cohesive devices are used to present an argument. When writing an academic essay, it's important that you use cohesion in such a way that attracts no attention. To do this, you need to use cohesive devices appropriately, but at the same time, do not over or underuse them.
Now let's practice. Choose the correct answer for each item. Now pause the video to answer. Check your answers. Look at these four paragraphs from a thesis-led essay. Put the paragraphs in the correct order to organize the essay. Decide which is the introductory paragraph, body paragraph 1, body paragraph 2, and concluding paragraph. Now pause the video to answer. Check your answers. Look at these excerpts from the introductory paragraph to two essays on the topic above. Which paragraph comes from a thesis-led essay and which comes from an argument-led essay? Now pause the video to answer. Check your answers. Look at the excerpts from the concluding paragraphs to two essays on the same topic. Which paragraph comes from a thesis-led essay and which comes from an argument-led essay? Now pause the video to answer. Check your answers. Look at the functions that the linking devices can perform. Read statements 1 to 5 below and decide in each case which function the linking expression in red is performing. Now pause the video to answer. Check your answers.
use phrases from the box to replace phrases from the paragraph with the same meaning. Pause the video to answer. Check your answers.